Well, April is Workplace Conflict Awareness Month, and a lot of people have returned to the office, you know, after working from home during the pandemic. And with that, well, conflicts and tension have also returned. Here to help sort things out is Eden Garcia Bayless. She's with the Airport Marina Counseling. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, I, we have to get right into it because one of the first things that I guess is an issue is bullying, which I have to say, I was a little surprised to hear that. Yes, bullying happens everywhere, at school, in the workplace, mm -hmm. and bullying is when someone intentionally mistreats or harms another employee, whether it's verbally, physically, or emotionally. Mm -hmm. And this can look like someone messing with personal equipment, mm -hmm. or their work property, or annoying them so much that they can't get their work done. Oh, wow. Hmm, okay. And what about the narcissistic personality? So a person with narcissistic personality needs a lot of praise. Mm -hmm. They lack empathy and they have a sense of grandiosity. Okay. So um, when you're dealing with a person with narcissistic personality, mm -hmm. you really need to develop a strategy. Okay. Know who you're working with. Mm -hmm. They think in black and white. Mm -hmm. They need a lot of praise. Mm -hmm. And you can position yourself as an ally if you want to continue to work with this person. Huh. But okay. if it becomes a problem, it's important to keep a paper trail. Mm -hmm. What happened, what was said, mm -hmm. what you did, um, and be direct okay. with this person. Okay. Okay. What about just overall personality clashes in the workplace? So personality clashes occur because of different cultural backgrounds mm -hmm. or conflicting approaches or just contrasting outlooks on life. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that if you have a personality conflict or you have a conflict with someone in general at mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. that you don't sweep it under the rug. Okay. So it's important to talk about it. And if you feel like you can't deal with it directly, mm -hmm. then bring in HR or a manager to assist. Okay. That can, if you don't, it can lead to anger and resentment, and we yeah. don't want that in the workplace. You just don't want to hang on to any of that. Okay. What about the workplace interference? So workplace interference is knowing exactly when your workday begins and when it ends. Oh. So now with our phones, we are just connected yes. to our emails and coworkers can constantly text us. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have a schedule and stick to it. Okay. My favorite is to have an hour for lunch, to <laughs> stick to that lunch hour, right? When mm -hmm. we're at the company or when we're at the workplace, that's the norm and that's the standard yeah. is this hour. And when we're at home working, we tend to either graze or skip lunch altogether. And that lunch hour is really important to help us refuel, re-energize yeah. and get back to work. Okay. What about mistakes versus missteps? Yes, so a misstep is when you make a wrong turn, but you didn't know about it because you're in this particular situation for the first time. Mm -hmm. A mistake is when you make a, mis a mishap more than once. Oh. So the goal is to focus on what happened, what was the wrong move, and not do it again. Okay. And so, and, and really the takeaway here Reach out to HR if you need to. Yes. Speak up. That's right. And, um, you know, try to <laughs> try to be calm. That's and, right. And, you know, I think it goes back to the old, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated and be respectful to everyone that you work with. Exactly. That's the bottom line. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Certainly appreciate that. And, of course, you can find more information about Airport Marina Counseling Services by going to our website, kcalnews.com, and clicking Seen on TV.